Most maize inbred lines cannot be genetically transformed using conventional transformation protocols. Here, we describe a quick corn transformation method that is fast and less genotype dependent. The quick corn method utilizes maize transcription factors baby boom and whooshel. When incorporated in the transformation vector system, these genes work synergistically to stimulate embryogenic growth. Unlike conventional maize transformation protocols, the quick corn method does not involve a callous induction step during transformation. The tDNA region of the binary vector used in our work contains three key components, morphogenic genes, marker genes, and the Crelox p recombination system. The heat-induced Crelox p recombination system was included in the tDNA to remove the morphogenic genes from the maize genome to allow normal callus regeneration and plant development. About two to three days after silks have emerged, and if pollen will be available the following day, cut the silks and husk with 70% ethanol sterilized scissors, roughly two and a half centimeters below the end of the husk leaves where the silks emerge, and cover the silk with a shoot bag. Once anthers emerge from a tassel, cover the tassel with a tassel bag, and place a non-skid paper clip at the base of the bag around the stalk. The morning after placing the tassel bag, gently bend the plant and tap the bag to encourage pollen to be released. Then remove the tassel bag and fold the top of the bag over to prevent pollen from escaping. To pollinate a recipient plant, expose the silks and quickly pour pollen from the tassel bag onto the silks. Immediately cover the pollen.